Mabuhai guys, and welcome back to the AZ Garden Triangle. Next is Sunrise Bumblebee. This cherry tomato is also a new addition to the AZ Garden Triangle. We were drawn to this tomato by the beautiful color of its fruit. Look, it's already starting to flower. Next is Prairie Fire. Another new addition to the AZ Garden Triangle. We love sweet tomatoes, and this one has a bricks of 10, so I highly doubt it'll even make it to the kitchen. This tomato can grow up to 3 inches long. You can see from the shape of the fruit that it's going to be a long tomato. Next is Blush, another cherry tomato that we decided to add because of the color. Next is Mr. Stripey, another new slicing tomato that we are growing this year. We bought the seedling at a local nursery. Look, it's already starting to bear fruit. Next is Isis Candy, another one of our top three favorites here at the AZ Garden Triangle. This is a very sweet tomato, with a bricks of 10. See all these candies?
Next is Brad's Atomic Grape, the last of our top three favorites. When ripe, this tomato has a lot of intense colors. The plant is a very vigorous producer, and contrary to what others say, this is a very flavorful and savory tomato. The secret? Harvest them when the color is intense. Next is Jersey Devil, a pasting tomato that can grow up to 6 inches long. You can see from the flower in the sepals that it's going to be a very long fruit. Next is Berry's Crazy Cherry. This is a very prolific cherry tomato, with the biggest clusters in tomato history. See all the flowers in just one cluster? This is going to be a crazy production of tomatoes. Next is Thorburn Terracotta. The seed was sent to us as a freebie from Baker Creek, but we're still excited to have this slicing tomato in our garden. Look, it's already starting to form fruits! Next is Black from Tula. This heirloom originating from Ukraine has very beautiful foliage. And a lot of it too. It's good that we planted it in a pot by itself. Look, it's already starting to form fruits. Next is Speckled Roma. This is a pasting tomato, but we love to eat Roma's fresh. Look, it's already starting to flower. Next is Paul Robson, a Russian heirloom that was named after the famous black opera singer, Paul Robson. Some of the fruits didn't make it, but there's already a new flower that's coming in. Next is Orange Hat, a micro tomato. It's surprising that it hasn't bloomed yet because it's supposed to produce early, because it's a dwarf-type tomato. This only grows 9 inches. But it looks like it's starting to bloom. Next is Little Bang. This is a dwarf tomato. We bought the seedling from the blue store. This plant can only grow to be 2 feet tall, but ours is only 1. But look, despite that it's small, it is loaded with fruit. It's nice to have an early maturing tomato, because you can start enjoying the fruits earlier in the season. This plant has so many fruits, and I couldn't help but video it more. Can you blame me though? Next is a volunteer tomato. This tomato started growing in our pot of borage. We don't know what it is yet, but considering that the flowers are small, we think it's a cherry tomato. Hopefully we'll find out soon. This is another one of our volunteer tomatoes. It was once again growing in our pot of borage. We, like other gardeners, believe in companion planting. We love interplanting French marigolds, sweet basil, and of course, borage with our tomatoes. Borage is our favorite because not only does it deter hornworms, 
but it also attracts bees. What a busy bee. Salamat po sa supporta!